you know, I definitely have regrets in how I handled, you know, calling off the wedding. Um, I didn't realize, you know, I thought I had told Liz, but I think I did, but she didn't really hear me or she didn't believe me. And it wasn't until um, our officiant, you know, reached out to her and said, look, I'm really sorry, you know, and that's when it hit her like a ton of bricks that it was over. And and he had, I'd spoken to him a couple weeks later when I was in San Diego and he's like, yeah, when she got the message, she was uncontrollable. So, you know, that part really hurt. I wasn't happy, you know, with how she found out, but, you know, there, there's no, there's going to be no good way to tell her or to try to get out of it. So I just had to, you know, cut it off. The morning after the pasta gate, um, I was at breakfast with my sister who was there that evening and her son was also there. And um, I was having a conversation with them and, and that's when I, you know, said, Liz, I'm not gonna, my sister Liz, I'm not gonna go through with the wedding. So I began texting the venue, telling them I need a, a refund. And at the same time, Liz was calling you know, and I thought she was calling to apologize, and she didn't, and that's when I knew, you know, I thought, you know, she's like, oh, we have date night tonight, I'm like, well, don't you want to talk about last night, and that's kind of what we did, you know, both of us together, like, we never dealt with our problems, we would, we would sweep them under the rug and go to happy hour, or have date night, or go to dinner, so we never, you know, after the last resort, we never, learn how to deal with those issues and and that eventually led to um, me deciding that I didn't want to go through with it. I've known for a few months that it really wasn't going to work and I wasn't you know really happy and um, the taco pasta night where Liz kind of you know lost it like she's done before uh, my sister had never seen that my sister Liz and she just gave me that look like you know you know don't don't do it so and I what kept reiter, reiterating in my head was something my mom had said to me is like um, you know go ahead and marry her but you'll be miserable for the rest of your life